Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 6 Indices Practice Set 30 Let's recall Finding the square root of a perfect square When a number is multiplied by itself, the product obtained is the square of the number. Example 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 6 square is equal to 36. 6 square is equal to 36 is read as the square of 6 is 36. So dear students, you already know about the square of a number. Another example, minus 5 into minus 5 is equal to minus 5 square is equal to 25. Minus 5 square is equal to 25 is read as the square of minus 5 is 25. So to find the square of a number, we multiply the number by itself. So let's learn finding the square root of a given number. Now what is square root? Have a look. Example 1. 3 into 3 is equal to 3 square is equal to 9. Here the square of 3 is 9 or we can say that the square root of 9 is 3. So it's in the reverse order. Just as the square of 3 is 9, we can write the square root of 9 is 3. The symbol, a tick mark and a horizontal line towards the right is used for square root. So this symbol is read as square root. So look below that symbol is mentioned and in it 9 is written. Means the square root of 9. So whichever number you write inside that symbol you read it as square root of that number. Therefore square root of 9 is equal to 3. How do we get square root of 9 is 3? Because 3 square is 9, so the reverse square root of 9 is equal to 3. Look at second example. 7 square is 49. That means the square root of 49 is equal to 7. Another example. 8 into 8 is equal to 8 square. 8 square is equal to 64. Hence, Square root of 64 is equal to 8. So like this, can you tell me what is the square root of 36? Which number multiplied by itself gives you 36? Think about it. Yes, 6 into 6 is 36. That means square root of 36 is equal to 6. What will be the square root of 25? 5 into 5 is 25. That means square root of 25 is 5. So this way we can easily find the square roots of two digit numbers. But what can be done if there are three digit numbers or four digit numbers in the question and we have to find a square root. So there is a method. Let's have a look at it. Finding the square root by the factors method. Find the square root of 144. Here you have a three digit number. So first step, find the prime factors of the given number. So we find the prime factors of 144. You know by now very well how to find prime factors. If it's an even number, start with 2. So like this, we have got all the prime factors. Now note down those prime factors in a horizontal manner. So 144 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. After you have written down the prime factors, pair the same numbers together. So 2 and 2, we make one pair. Another 2 and 2, we make second pair. 3 and 3, we make a third pair. So form pairs of equal factors from the prime factors obtained. And next, the last step is take one factor from each pair and multiply you will get your answer to the square root of the question that means square root of 144 is equal to 
look at the underlying pairs and take one factor from each pair first pair is 2 into 2 so we took 1 uh, 2 from that next pair also has 2 so we took another 2 next pair has 3 multiplied by 3 so we take 1 3 from there and we multiply these factors 1 1 factors which we got from the pairs so 2 2's are 4 4 3's are 12 12 is your final answer therefore square root of 144 is equal to 12 though there are multiple steps involved in finding the square root of a number it is very easy once you start practicing these sums so step 1 is to find the prime factors step 2 is to pair them up the same numbers make a pair and like that underline them third step is to pick up one number from each pair and multiply and you get your answer so these are the three main steps in finding the square root of a given number let's have a look at one more example find the square root of 324 so here you will first find the prime factors step one is to find the prime factors second step is to write them in a horizontal manner in one line and pair them up so 2 into 2 is one pair 3 into 3 when taking a pair they have to be the same numbers so 3 into 3 is second pair and 3 into 3 is third pair now to find the square root a third step is take one number from each pair and multiply so how will you write now you will use the sign of square root for 324 till now we had not used it but now you are taking one one factor from each pair that means you are finding square root so note that you will write the symbol now above the number 324 so square root of 324 is equal to one factor is 2 another factor from second pair is 3 and third factor from third pair is also 3 so 2 into 3 is 6 6 3 is 18 multiply each factor that you have obtained from the pairs and you get your final answer therefore square root of 324 is equal to 18 so now we are ready to solve our practice set number 30 find the square root you have five questions let's find the square root one at a time 625 you have to find the square root so first step is to find the prime factors you know that 625 is divisible by 5 so using 5 as a first prime factor we go on finding the other prime factors second step is to write them horizontally and underline them to two common each so let's see 625 is equal to 5 into 5 is one pair into 5 into 5 is second pair underline them third step to find the square root we will take one number from each pair and multiply so now use the symbol for square root square root of 625 is equal to 5 from first pair into 5 from second pair is equal to 5 5 is a 25 therefore square root of 625 is equal to 25 second sum 1225 this number also is divisible by 5 so we begin with 5 and find the remaining factors first step is complete here second step you are going to write them in one line in a horizontal manner so 1225 is equal to 5 into 5 into 7 into 7 and now pair them up common two numbers same numbers are 5 so underline 7 also we have seen underline now third step to find the square root we will take one number from each pair and multiply so square root of 1225 is equal to from first pair we get 5 from second pair we multiply by 7 5 7 is a 35 so the square root of 1225 is equal to 35 third sum 289 so you have to find first the prime factors 17 17s are 289 17 ones are 17 
now we got only one pair so to find the square root we will take one number from the pair that is 17 itself so the square root of 289 is equal to 17 there is no other pair so we need not multiply 17 with anything else okay fourth sum 4096 it's a even number and divisible by 2 we get so many factors there are 12 times 2 written in factors so we get 6 pairs altogether we group 2 pairs 2 numbers together to form a pair and this way we get 6 pairs so next step to find the square root we will take one number from each pair and multiply so the square root of 4096 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 6 times you will have 2 is equal to 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 2s are 32 and 32 2s are 64. Therefore square root of 4096 is equal to 64. You got your answer. Alright. And the last sum, fifth sum, we have to find the square root of 1089. Now add up the digits and see that it is divisible by 3. So we start with 3 and we go on finding the prime factors. Once you get all the prime factors, you note it down in a horizontal way. 1089 is equal to 3 into 3 into 11 into 11. Now underline two factors together which are same so we got 3 into 3 as one pair 11 into 11 as second pair now a third step to find the square root we will take one number from each pair and multiply so the square root of 1089 is equal to 3 into 11 equals 33 therefore square root of 1089 is equal to 33 so this way we have solved our practice set 30 and also we have completed chapter 6 indices. So students, practice these sums well in your book and also don't forget to write down the laws of indices on paper or in, a note, in your notebook and do memorize them well. It will help you to solve the sums based on indices. So stay safe, keep learning and thank you.